Shalom. We're glad that you could join us for another week of meditating God's Word. God's Word has awesome truth in it and for all of us who seek it, who live by it. Today, afresh, we are going to be looking at uh, a key term that keeps repeating itself in scriptures, which is pleasing the Lord. I'm sure that each of us have been in relationships, you know, a, a relationship between a husband and a wife, between a parent and child, between an employer and employee, and we really look forward to please the people that we love. We look at ways that we can please people we love. So much also, um, this following week, we are going to be looking at how we can please God, as scripture shows us. Ephesians 5.10 says, find out what pleases the Lord. Let's look into a scripture verse for today, 2 Corinthians 5, 9 and 10. Therefore, we make it our aim, whether present or absent, to be well-pleasing to Him. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that each one may receive the things done in the body according to what he has done, whether bad or good. So pleasing the Lord should be the greatest ambition in every believer's heart. That should be our greatest aim. When we are in a relationship with God, our Heavenly Father, we ought to be pleasing Him in every way, at every time possible. Sometimes we are too engrossed in different aims in our lives. We please ourselves, we please others, we try and please ourselves of things of the world. But scripture shows us that we need to keep this as the greatest aim, to please the Lord. So let's ask ourselves, let's consider this question. How can we claim to please God even there may, when there may be times when we are doing things that is displeasing to Him? So the requirements of how to please God are many. And scripture brings about a lot of that. And that's what we will be looking at in depth. And sometimes it may seem very daunting for us because it's impossible for us to do. But we can take courage and we can take solace in understanding that God Himself helps us. He gives us that desire to do that which pleases Him. Paul writes this in Philippians 2.13 For God is working in you, giving you the desire to obey Him and the power to do what pleases Him. So, even as we are hearing this, we may wonder, what does it take for me to please God? But this scripture shows us, God himself builds that desire within us. He gives us that desire to please him. So he uses all our imperfect ways, our imperfect efforts and makes them perfect. So it is only, the God, only God's grace that will help us to please him. So let's make it our aim to please Christ. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the ambition that you have recreated in us, that we need to please you in everything. Teach us to make that our lives very soul and greatest aim, to please you, to delight, to find delight, Lord, in you. Thank you, Father, for this that you have taught us today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.